back after a short hiatus. I am back here with you and I am so happy to be here. Today I'm going to share five tips for starting your own business for moms. Hey, I'm Lisa and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited about this topic. I love the topic of entrepreneurship because of the opportunities my business has created for me and for my family. I have shared before here on the channel my career story, so I'll link that for you in the cards if you wanna catch up to hear how I got to where I am today. But I really, I really believe that entrepreneurship can open a lot of doors for a mom. I also think that entrepreneurship allows for a lot of freedom and flexibility. There are also a lot of challenges that I'm gonna get into in this video as well, but I think if I were to really weigh it all, working for someone else, working for myself, I would definitely choose working for myself. But I wanna share with you five tips that I think are really helpful for a mom to consider if she wants to start her own business. Tip number one is a question. And the question is, are you meant to be an entrepreneur or not? Because I really feel like not everyone is meant to be an entrepreneur. And let me tell you why. There are serious challenges <laughs> with running your own business. It requires mental stamina, physical stamina, it requires you to want it badly. There is risk involved. Your paycheck does not magically appear. There are many things that need to happen before you start getting paid. So I do think it's a really important question that a mom has to ask herself. Am I really cut out for entrepreneurship? And the question or the thing that I think a mom should think really hard about is what is your relationship with risk? Are you risk averse or are you okay taking a little bit of risk? Are you, does it terrify you to think, oh my gosh, what if my business doesn't make money? Or does that challenge you and make you motivated? So the first tip I have is to really ask yourself and look hard at, are you really meant to be an entrepreneur? Or are you maybe more suited where you are paid by someone else? My second tip for a mom who might wanna start her own business is to consider if your blue flame can make you money. So I've talked lots on this channel about the whole concept of a blue flame, and I'll link those videos for you in the cards. The blue flame is, Jennifer Fulweiler presents it in her book, One Beautiful Dream. It's this whole concept of the thing that you do that fires you up, that gives you energy, that makes you feel so alive, that looks so easy when you're doing it, but it might be really difficult for someone else to do. I think it is an amazing situation if a mom can take her blue flame and then have that make her money. Your blue flame fires you up. It gives you energy. I, I have a friend who her blue flame is speaking and her husband literally has to push her out the door because she gets nervous and she you know, doesn't really um, uh, like some of the process leading up to her speaking engagement. But once she speaks, she comes home and she has so much energy for her family. She's renewed, she's revived, she's mentally stimulated. So I think it is an incredible sweet spot situation if you can take the thing that fires you up and get paid. I think that should be really the ambition of all entrepreneurs, to be honest, and all moms who might wanna start a business. So if you can identify your blue flame and then strategize a way that you could charge people money for it, I think that's the most ideal situation for an entrepreneurial mama. My third tip for starting your own business as a mom is to clearly identify and really get to know your target audience. One thing I learned from working with a business coach uh, in the early days of my business was that we really cannot be all things to all people. When I started my interior design business, I was desperate to help everybody, and I did. I worked with families in large homes, families in small homes. I worked with single people. I worked with elderly couples. I did coffee shops. I did uh, commercial spaces. I literally did everything in the first few years of my business. And there is something to be said for getting your feet wet and trying things out because how else do you figure out what you really like to do? I think it's really important that you then hone in on what was your favorite project or what project seemed to be the most effortless or seamless in terms of processes. And then really narrow down and niche. I think that it's important in business that you become known as something. 
known for providing a service in a really particular area. When we hone in our marketing language to one specific niche, it becomes really easy for people to recommend us to friends because we come top of mind. Some of the things you wanna consider when you're identifying your target market is how old is she? What is her name? What kind of car does she drive? Where did she go to school? What does she like to do on the weekends? How many kids does she have? What does she think is important to her? What, does, what keeps her up at night? These kinds of questions. You really wanna almost be able to picture a person, like literally a person, or take someone, take a past customer or someone that you know personally and literally write all of your marketing copy and create all of your services literally tailored to her. My fourth tip for a mom who wants to start her own business is to make sure the business will be profitable. Eee! Money, 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 money. We need money. It's just a reality. Unless you are a charity, I don't believe that you should go into business for charity, meaning you need to actually make money and you need to make more money than your business costs you. So let me give you an example to help you understand why profit is so important and why not all businesses can be profitable. So let's talk about handmade goods. I love handmade goods and I love supporting the artisans that create handmade goods. So for example, like, a, like the pair of earrings I'm wearing, okay? So let's say you wanna make earrings and you love tassels and you think they're, they're amazing. Think about how many hours it's gonna take you to make one pair of earrings. And let's say we pay you a minimum wage of $15. If it takes you four hours to make a pair of earrings, that's $60 that really you should be charging. And then factor in the box and factor in the shipping and factor in marketing costs and factor in taxes, factor in um, printing, other marketing costs, etc., etc. As you can see, it's technically costing you more money than $60 to make this pair of earrings. And can you charge somebody more than $60 for a pair of earrings? And I'm not trying to say this is not a good idea, but I just want you to consider what is your margin on making something and how much do you have to charge in order to remain profitable? Now, I'm not in any way trying to throw any shade at handmade goods. I love handmade goods, but I just wanna help a mom consider how much time is it gonna take you to make something and then how much do you need to charge your end consumer to ensure that you're actually gonna be profitable as a business. So this is why it's so important to uh, pay attention to that earlier tip I gave you on knowing your target market. Because a mom who's gonna spend $60 on a pair of earrings is gonna very likely be very different from a mom who's gonna look for a pair of earrings in the bargain bin at a big box store. They have different sets of values, they have different experiences, they shop in different places. So knowing that target market and ensuring that you're tailoring all of your marketing, ensuring that you're actually speaking to her is gonna be really important to have a profitable business. And then tip number five for her mom who wants to start her own business is to carefully consider how the business is going to fit within the schedule and timing of her family. My friends, the early years of a business require a lot of investment of time. I don't want to paint it any other way. When you're starting a business, the learning curve is steep. There are so many factors and emotions and losses and gains and risk and adventure. There's just so many things all the time in entrepreneurship, but in the beginning, when you're getting everything set up for the very first time, the learning curve is steep. So like I talk a lot about on this channel, I wanna encourage you to think, will this take me away from my kids? How much will this take me away from my kids? Is this a flexible enough of a business that I can fit it around the things that are really important to me these are really important things to consider. I'm always very honest 
and transparent here on this channel. It's been my goal to be very open about my personal struggles in motherhood, my personal struggles in family life, my personal struggles as an entrepreneur, and so I want you to hear me loud and clear. Entrepreneurship is so fulfilling. I really believe that when you can align a business with your personal values, with the values of your family, when you can align your business thinking about your legacy and the impact you wanna leave on the world, incredible things can happen. I have experienced significant stress in my business, misery, I could even call it, in the early days of my interior design career. But as I developed systems, as I developed strategies, as I failed and then looked at the failures and said, what can I do to change things? What can I learn from that failure? My business has only gotten more exciting, more fulfilling, and really at the end of the day, it's done two important things. Number one, it makes me feel so fulfilled. It makes me feel like I am doing what I'm meant to do. It makes me feel like I'm contributing and leaving impact on the world, on society. And number two, it is providing for my family. The opportunities that my business has provided, not only monetary, but experiential as well, are honestly to me worth all the stress, all the risk, all the crazy hurdles that an entrepreneur needs to jump through. To me, it's 100% worth it. And then my final tip, this is a bonus because I said I was only gonna have five. But really it's to just try. So let's say you've gone through all these questions and you're like, oh my gosh, yeah, I think I'm really meant to be an entrepreneur within my busy mom life. I think I'm meant to try this, but I'm still so intimidated. This is so overwhelming. I'm really afraid of risk. If you're saying all these things, that's completely and totally normal. In fact, if you weren't saying these things, I'd be like, have you thought hard and long about this, really? Because you really need to think hard about this. But to just try. Honestly, like, yes, there might be a little bit of investment when you begin a business, but it could be a small investment. You can grow into it. You don't have to begin you know, big, you can grow into it. This can be something that you do on the side while you work your traditional job. This can be something that you do on the side during nap time. But really, I think the key is you just start. You just start, you don't wait for the perfect day because can I tell you, that perfect day will never be perfect enough. Like just, just start, let it be messy, get going, and then see what happens. And you can grow gradually and your business can be honestly one of the most exciting and fulfilling and incredible adventures that you'll ever go on. What do you think? Is entrepreneurship for you? If you think so, let me know in the comments. Type below right now what kind of business you would love to begin and tell me what is most overwhelming to you right now about starting your own business. Let me know and I'm gonna to respond to every single comment. And if you like this video, I would love for you to give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more from me on entrepreneurship, balancing work and life, parenting and lifestyle tips. Thanks so much for watching and cheers to designing your beautiful life.